everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamika, this is Library of Tomes where I talk to you about all the bookish things going on in my life. Today I have another bookish makeup tutorial ready for you all. I have recreated one of the covers from one of my favorite books from last year and that book is The Dugout by Megan Quinn. I obviously have pulled a lot of inspiration on this cover with the eyes and also the lip color. So if you want to see how I got this look and you want to recreate it for yourself, just keep watching and I'm going to show you everything I did, including all of the products and each step to get this look. <laughs> First, I'm going to sanitize my hands, just like again. So I'm going to sanitize them so they're not gross. I'm checking this concealer. It is the Milani concealer and this is the um, conceal and perfect long wear concealer and I'm gonna go in on my eyes and just give myself a nice base to work with and I want to take just a flat brush and I'm going to blend it in here. All right so I'm just blending this in and since I'm gonna be doing the cover for The Dugout by Megan Quinn, I'm gonna really go for like the pinks and this yellow color. Um, and I'm gonna use the Trendy in Tokyo palette. This is actually by um, BH Cosmetics. And there's a ton of different colors I can choose from in here. I don't think any of these are as hot pink as I want. I'm gonna have to pull from another palette. So I'm also gonna pull from the Riviera palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills because I really wanna use this hot pink. I'm gonna start out with this color called Blossom. And I'm gonna do this just like in the crease so that I have something to work with. All right, so I just got this pink base going. I'm going to add just a little bit more and I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's called Anime. Um, this is almost the pink I want, but not quite. So we're gonna go in and deepen up the crease. That's a lot. <laughs> Alright, so there was so much product, I just wanted to put it on both sides. But I'm gonna blow this out and build this crease up. All right, so now that I have this like really nice base, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia palette and this color is called Bahamas and it's right here. And I'm gonna take this flat part of the brush and I'm just gonna pack it on because it's very pigmented. Um, like you can see how pigmented this is, but it's very pigmented, so I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna put it all over the base of my eye, like all over the lid. That's exactly the color I want to, like that brat. And I'm just gonna pack it on and then eventually blend it up once I get the desired pink color. exactly how pigmented I want this. Wonderful. Then I'm gonna take the fluffy part and I'm gonna blend around the crease until it is blended together and the two colors look seamless. I'm gonna like blend up in like a circular motion. Kind of like that. I hope that makes sense. Okay and I feel like this these both of the eyes are not blended up enough so I'm gonna go back in again and this color is actually not called anime. It's called emoji. And I'm just going to do a lot more on the base of like this fluffy brush and I'm going to just blend it up. And that's a little too much. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for the like base of the eyes. Now I'm gonna go in 
Now I'm gonna go in with like this flat brush and I'm gonna go in with this color. It's called Karaoke. It's this bright yellow color. And I'm gonna pack this on the inner corner. You and me are moving. Make sure we get through this. Let's just keep on dancing as one. Okay, so now that we have the base of the eyeshadow down, I'm gonna go in with this liner. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. And my brush looks a little funny. It, my brush is a little messed up, but it's fine. I can still make it work. So I ended up adding wings off camera because I was like messing them up really bad. So I'm gonna go in with an eyelash curler and I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm going to apply my coat of mascara and add wings and add lashes. this Maybelline Colossal um, mascara. It's just like a simple mascara. I really don't care what kind I'm gonna use because I'm gonna be putting on fake lashes. So I applied one layer of mascara. That's all I'm gonna apply. And I'm gonna clean up my face now because um, I've somehow got mascara and eyeliner all over it. So I'm just taking an eye pop and I'm gonna get this off. And I'm gonna use just some Kiss lashes, which you can't see. Just some kiss lashes. They're just really simple ones. And I'm gonna go in with this duo lash glue. This is the clear kind because I can't use any other kind. It just, I just can't do it. And this is the brush kind, so I'm just gonna put it on here on the band. All right, and then I let them sit there for a second so that they can kind of attach to the eye without like popping off whenever I go to squeeze them. But I'm gonna go and press them together on my fingers um, just in a second. Now, this is the reason it doesn't matter that it was a little messy, but now I'm gonna go back in with this liner and I'm just gonna go over the lash a little. And the wings and the mascara is done. Um, I'm gonna move on to the base of the face and then we'll circle back to the eyes at the end. So I'm gonna take this round like uh, buffing bl uh, brush and this is just an RC Cosmetics brush. And I don't use a, a lot, a lot, but I do. I use about this much and I'm just gonna put it all over my face. And I kinda do it like that and then around my neck. And I do the neck first and I blend this down because I don't care as much about how like precise the neck is. And then I'm gonna dab at the face. So that is the base of the foundation. I'm gonna go in with this powder brush and I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild palette. Um, I'm not gonna do concealer today. I just don't feel like doing it, truly. I just don't care. Um, so instead, I'm just gonna take this uh, like powder here and I'm gonna go under my eyes to where I would highlight normally. I just don't feel like doing it. It's like a lot of work and I don't have the energy. Um, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go down here. Where, underneath where I will be contouring and I will actually go a little bit right here too. Set that a little bit and then on my forehead. Then I'm gonna take this brush here and I'm gonna dip into the brown to contour my face. Do I wanna contour brown or do I wanna contour gray today? So I'm gonna contour and just sculpt out my cheekbones and around my face. And then I'm gonna go on my nose, contour my nose as well. I've just been really enjoying contouring my nose lately for some reason. Um, and I like to 
like a button nose. So you do line down, a line down, a line down here, and then across the bridge. Or not the bridge, but like right here at your nose, wherever you want your button nose to be. And then it looks a little weird, but it's gonna look good in a second. I'm gonna go with my blush brush. I'm gonna use the Note blush that I have. This is in the color Desert Rose. It just looks like this color. This is really pigmented, so I don't need a ton. Um, and I just blended it onto my cheek. And I like to do like up at my cheekbones. And I'll do it again. And then I do across the bridge of my nose a little bit, just so that I have a little more color. Then I take a fan brush and I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Glow Kit. And I have the summer one. Um, and I like to combine summer and moonstone, but I'll go in with summer first, which is this color. And I just highlight my cheeks. And then I go in with moonstone over it. Uh, and then I just go in with moonstone on the tip of my nose. Okay, so now that the base of my face is mostly done, I am going to go back in with this same brush and palette that I used a minute ago. Uh, and I'm gonna tap the excess off and I'm gonna go underneath the lid. And I'm gonna bring it almost to that yellow that I have. And then I'm gonna do one last coat of mascara and I'm gonna blend the falsies together and add a lot of them to the bottom lashes. So then I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline. It's the Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade and I'm in the color Black Brown. almost done and I just want to show you the cover before I add the lipstick so so this is the cover for the dugout by Megan Quinn we're almost done as you can see I've pulled the pink I've pulled the yellow we kind of have that going we need to add a little bit more yellow in the corner I think but I'm about to add the lipstick and it's gonna pull it all together so I'm going in with this liquid lipstick this is in the cover color caviar and this is by Mac so here we go And this is the completed look. This is the makeup inspired by The Dugout by Megan Quinn. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you all recreate this look if you want to. I am in love with it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I know the yellow is pretty subtle in the inner corner, but I think it works.